recipes, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I'm gonna show you a dessert that a lot of you have really been requesting lately, so I'm excited to share it with you. It's flan, or also known as creme caramel, and if you don't know what it is, it's kind of like it sounds. It's, it's a very, it's a custard that you can just, you bake, and then it's got part caramel on it, but we'll do that all together. Before we get started, let's go over the ingredients. You're gonna need some heavy cream, some whole milk, eggs, egg yolk, some sugar, a vanilla bean, and then for the caramel, you're gonna need some water and some sugar. Now, this is gonna be really simple, but you need to just follow these simple steps. Now, first thing we're gonna do is steep the milk mixture, but before you do that, you wanna get your oven to 350 and get a kettle or a little pot, fill it with water and get that, you know, heating. You want it to come up right below boiling point because we're going to bake these in a water bath and you want the water to be hot. And I place my ramekins in a little dish like this just so that it holds them tightly and there's enough room for the water to cover them pretty well. Okay, so in the saucepan, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my heavy cream. I'm gonna put in my milk. Now, if you don't have heavy cream, you can do this with whole milk only. It's not gonna be as rich, but it'll work. So, but not 2%, not low fat, not 1%, has to be whole milk. Now I'm gonna have this over medium heat, and to that, I'm going to add in my milk, my heavy cream, all that, and a vanilla bean. Now you guys know that I have a very hard time finding vanilla beans in my local supermarket, but somehow, recently, they've gotten on the bandwagon and I've been able to find it. And this makes a huge difference if you're making flan. If you don't have it, you can use extract, but here's what you do. You take your vanilla bean and I'm going to cut it right down to the center because all the good stuff is in the middle. Like, see all the little seeds? That's like gold to a baker. Those are fabulous. And what you want to do is take your little paring knife, you split it down half like I did, and then you kind of just run it down. You scrape them out and that is what you're looking for. So, I'm going to put those right in there along with the vanilla bean and a pinch of salt. I don't know why I didn't have it out, but you're gonna need just a pinch of salt. Like I always say, salt is just important when you're baking as it is when you're making savory dishes. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna let this simmer. You're gonna let this come up to a simmer right below boiling point, and then you're gonna turn it completely off and leave it alone for the remaining time that we're gonna be doing the caramel. So let this come up to a simmer and then we'll finish it off. My cream mixture is up to a simmer right below boiling point and I'm going to just turn it off and I'm going to just set this aside because what I wanted to do is I wanted it to steep. I wanted to get all the vanilla flavor in there and it's also going to cool down a bit. So, leave that aside. Now we're going to make them, we're going to start on the caramel. Now for the caramel, the number one rule when you make caramel, you can swirl but you must never stir. I'm not a scientist, it's just what I've been told. What happens is it crystallizes the sugar and becomes hard if you stir, and that's true, because I've done it over and over again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in some sugar, and a little bit of water, and this is over medium high heat. There we go. And see, I can swirl my pan, but I'm not stirring, and that's fine. And what you're looking for, and this could take up to 10 minutes, but this is not the time where you go get your phone and chat with your girlfriend in the other room while your caramel is cooking. You've gotta be right here. You gotta pay close attention to it because this is going to turn from clear to like a golden color to an amber color, which is like a really deep golden color and that's the color we're looking for. But it can go from amber to burnt in, in a matter of five to six seconds. So this is why I want you to be right here. And I'm not gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna just stay here until this turns deep amber color. Caramel is done, and that is what you're looking for. Now, really quickly, what I've done here is I have my ramekins I've just sprayed with nonstick spray really fast. I'm going to divide this mixture between my four ramekins. You need to do this really quickly because this will harden, don't you worry. And then you just swirl until they're just like that, one layer. So you're gonna set that aside because now you're gonna work on the remaining, you know, the egg yolks and all. So, set that there. That's gonna be hot. You take a pitcher or a bowl or whatever you have. I'm gonna put in my eggs, my egg yolk, and some sugar. And I'm gonna mix this until it's well mixed and the sugar has dissolved just a little bit. Now to the eggs, you wanna just slowly pour in your hot cream. I took out the vanilla bean, so that's not gonna go in there. And just 
I want to get all those little black seeds out because that's important. Oops. Now just mix this until it's all incorporated, which doesn't take very long at all. And then you're going to just fill up your ramekins. Just divide the mixer and just evenly. So there you go. There you go. And now you're going to take your hot water that was in your tea kettle and you're going to fill up until there's just enough water that it goes up halfway up the ramekins. Now I'm going to put these into the oven at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes or until they're set. And then I'm going to let them cool for a couple of hours or you can even let them cool completely overnight in the fridge obviously. And then we'll serve them up together. I just took my flan out of the fridge. Now remember, this baked in a water bath at 350 for about 40 minutes and then I let them cool completely on the counter and then I popped them into the fridge for a minimum of two hours but you can do this up to overnight. So if you're having you know, a dinner party one night and you want to get ahead of yourself, just make these the night before and they'll be perfect when you want to serve them. Now, you take a little paring knife, you want to just run it right around the edges just to kind of loosen it up. And you take your plate, Flip it upside down, and you can already see the caramel dripping down. See? Ta-da! And the black, it's, that's all those incredible vanilla seeds. It makes such a big difference when you're using vanilla bean rather than vanilla extract. I can't even describe it, but I want to show it to you what it looks like on the inside. It's like perfectly set. Oh. You don't have to chew it because it melts. It's not eggy at all, which a lot of times when you get flan, it's just overwhelmingly eggy, which I absolutely despise. But that has got perfect texture and it's not overly sweet. So it's not only perfect texture, but it's also got a really great balance of flavor as well. That's it. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. Get in your kitchen and make flan. I mean, it's easy. It doesn't use a lot of crazy ingredients. You know you can do it. Go get the recipe on laurainthekitchen.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.